With the launch of AMD's next generation 7 nanometer Navi architecture, we've seen yet more juicy AMD graphics cards to choose from in the shape of the Radeon RX 5700 range, which we've included in this updated buyer's guide. AMD are a key supplier of graphics cards and they offer something at all price points, but they're not always that easy to navigate by name alone. So if you're struggling to get to grips with what's what and which card might be right for you, well, we've done the hard work for you. So sit back, grab a brew and listen up. In this video, we'll give you an overview of which cards are available currently and when you might select each, starting with the RX 500 range, moving on to the RX Vega range and finishing up by looking at the latest RX 5000 range. The faster and more powerful graphics cards will allow you to run your favourite games at higher quality settings and achieve a smoother frame rate, resulting in a better gaming experience. Now, some of the key specs you might want to look at when choosing a graphics card are the number of stream processors and the amount of memory. Generally speaking, you'll find that the more powerful cards have more of both, but only when comparing cards using the same architecture, as I'll explain shortly. So let's start by taking a look at the most affordable cards in the Radeon RX 500 range, which represent really great value for money, starting at just over £110 currently and working their way up as you add on certain features. The entry-level Radeon RX 550 has 512 stream processors and is available with either 2GB or 4GB of memory. This will give you good performance in MMO and online games on a 1080p monitor. The RX 550 is also a good option for attaching multiple monitors to a home or office PC if you're not too bothered about gaming. Moving up to the Radeon RX 560, which is based on the same architecture as RX 550, but it ups the ante by increasing the stream processors to 1024, and it's available with either 2GB or 4GB of GDDR5 memory. The RX 560 in a 4GB configuration adds greater games playing potential and can run games on a 1080p monitor at high detail settings. It's a worthy step up from the RX 550, as in games, the RX 560 is over 60% faster. The RX 570 is a strong choice for 1080p gaming, with quality settings dialed up to the maximum. It doubles the 560's stream processors to 2048 and comes with either 4GB or 8GB of memory. And if you're ready to take your first steps into higher resolution virtual worlds, then the Radeon RX 580 with its 2,304 stream processors and up to 8 gigabytes of memory may well be the card for you. The RX 580 is well equipped for the transition from 1080p to 1440p, and its specifications mean that it has more power than today's latest high-end consoles. And there's just about enough performance under the hood to try your hand at VR. The Radeon RX 590 is an improved version of the RX 580. It has the same 2,304 stream processors and 8GB of memory, but has 15% higher clock speed out of the box, meaning you get all the great features of the 580, but with better performance. Moving on to the Radeon RX Vega range, which although it's been around a little while, launching in August 2017, it's still an excellent choice when it comes to 1440p gaming. The Vega architecture is built on 14 nanometer silicon and the range consists of the Vega 56 and the Vega 64. The Radeon RX Vega 56 has 3,584 stream processors and 8GB of HBM2 memory. The Vega 56 is well suited to high resolution 1440p monitor or a VR headset and promises excellent visuals from modern games. It's a perfect partner if you have a 1440p free sync display. Meanwhile, the harder to get hold of Radeon Vega 64 ups the stream processors to 4096 with 8GB of HBM2 memory, enhancing your 1440p experience even more. And last but not least, as I mentioned, the current latest and greatest AMD GPUs launched in July 2019 are found within the Radeon RX 5000 range, which comprises of the Radeon 5700 and the Radeon 5700 XT. 
Both deliver stunning 1440p gaming at ultra or max settings and offer native support for the speedy PCIe 4.0 interface. These Navi graphics cards are based on their RDNA architecture, built using a 7 nanometer process and includes new anti-lag and image sharpening technology. This duo of cards are considered mid to high end and focus on raw performance and power efficiency. First up, the RX 5700 is perfect for handling high resolution workloads. It has 2,304 stream processors and 8GB of DDR6 memory. Now, it won't have escaped your attention that the Radeon RX 5700 has fewer stream processors than the Radeon RX Vega cards, despite being newer and more improved which could be confusing. But don't forget that this is a whole new architecture and the new RDNA is geared towards doing more with less. Navi is all about increasing efficiency, making the new design cars far better suited to gaming workloads. Now let's step it up to the flagship Radeon RX 5700 XT. It also has 8GB of advanced GDDR6 memory, but it ups the stream processors to 2560, enabling 1440p performance for even the most demanding games. It adds in four more compute units and a higher game clock, which should give you a bit more performance than the RX 5700. And if you're still not sure which AMD graphics card is right for you, then this table shows the key characteristics rated out of 10 of the main models. We hope you found this buyer's guide helpful, but if you do have any more questions on which to go for based on your budget and needs, post them below or get in touch. <laughs>